Hi, I'm Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gun Dogs. This week, we're going to just talk a little bit about handling dogs. Um, I see a lot of problems in uh, dog behaviour derived from incorrect or lack of handling when the dogs are young. It's quite important that dogs are quite robust to being held by you, by vets, by a dog groomer, by someone trying to help you out, someone who grabs your dog in the park because your dog runs off. The more used to your dog's being, the more used to handling your dog is, the, um, the better. And I don't mean on a little golden cushion like he's the king, okay? I mean, you know, he's a cocker spaniel, okay? He likes being, he likes to get your attention, he's happy on his back, he's happy on his front, you know, we're just used to him, he's used to us just wiggling him around, doing whatever, and you can see he really doesn't care, okay? Like, the other thing is, is we want to just, from a young age, get the dog used to having their legs pulled and checked, their teeth checked, the cleaning, their ears checked, you know, all quite roughly, kind of, you know, getting hold of their scrub, putting them down, picking them up again, just moving them around, okay? You're not going to break them. These guys are super robust. You've seen them running around and flying off walls and into bushes and stuff. They're really tough, okay? But if you go, oh, I'm not something like that, or that might hurt him, or if we're not trying to hurt him, we're not wanting to hurt him. But that doesn't hurt him. Holding him by a scruff doesn't hurt him. That's how his mum, that's how his mum carried him around. She held him by a scruff. By doing this, you can see he's not even bothered. He doesn't care. But by doing this at this stage, it means that this dog is never, ever going to turn turn on someone who takes their takes him by the scruff if i never take his scruff and someone random suddenly grabs his scruff he's going to turn around possibly with his mouth slightly open you know thinking of biting them okay because because it's just a natural reaction if someone grabbed me by my scruff i'd turn around to be like oh what are you doing well i wouldn't because i'm not an aggressive person but you've kind of i'm trying to prove a point here i'm trying to get a point across to you but it's really important with young dogs to do all this loads like you know i'm I've got little kids, they're going to lie on him, they're going to pull his ears and stuff. They're not allowed to, but it's invariably going to happen. They're going to pull his tail. So if I do all this stuff to him, and he's used to it, he's just like, oh yeah, he's saying that again, whatever. But he doesn't care, and it's so important. So that when... When we do all this stuff, he literally couldn't care less. So when someone else does things to him, when, when he's got to be to have his nails clipped or anything, he's just gonna go, oh yeah, well, this sort of thing's happened all my life and this just was what happened. Now, I'm gonna do this now with a few other dogs just to, just to give you a little variety from little to big and show you we do it with all of our dogs and just to re-emphasize how important it is. So this is a, um, this is one of our youngsters. So we've done no training him whatsoever. So he is a few months behind Waffle in terms of his obedience, as in he has absolutely zero. But what we're doing at the moment, we're just letting him play, we're letting him run around, and we're also just getting him used to being, being handled. All the same things that we do with any of the other dogs, pulling their feet, checking their ears, checking their little teeth, seeing their bites coming in nicely, and you can see that little tail, busy, busy, busy. He doesn't care, I'm holding him by a scruff, and people will see that, and they go, oh, you're gonna hurt him. Does he look like he's hurt? I mean, his tail, tail is still wagging. Now, you can't do that to an adult Labrador who weighs 40 kilos, partly because you're not strong enough. But that is how their mum carries them around, okay? It's really important when you have a puppy, just pick them up by their scruff, move them around by their scruff, because that's very natural. It's a very natural behaviour, okay? You, you're not going to hurt them if you, do it, if you do it correctly. And you know when you do it correctly because, because you start off, you've got that loose bit of skin, and from day one, if you hold on to that, he doesn't tense up, you know he's not being, you know he's not being hurt. And it's just really useful, because if he's running around, being a little monkey, and I need to catch him, I can just get him by his scruff and I can pick him up and I've got him, okay? Really important. Over and over again, I can't reiterate this, this is going to prevent you having a cocker, particularly cockers, they've got a bit of a bad rep now for being a bit aggressive and things, and people go, oh, my dog's got cocker rage. No, probably your dog's just been badly trained or not trained and very badly handled as a youngster. It's a bit rough. Maybe people might think that. I don't think so. I mean, he, you know, you see all of our dogs and I defy anyone to find happier, more confident, outgoing dogs than ours. You can see he's a happy little guy and he doesn't bother him at all. And he's just used to it. And it's really so important when we go when he's older and we're training him and he's going to the vet and he's going to new places and different people are doing different things. Chino. 
So this is Chino. Chino. Hello, Chin Chin Chin. Hello, Chin Chin Chin. And Chino is a seven-year-old Labrador. She's one of our mummies and our grannies. <laughs> Just used to being carried and being picked up and moved around. Now, as you see, love is probably not as much as the cockers because she's a bit heavier, so she doesn't get it done to her so much. But it is still really important to, you know, to do all of this because, you know, they need to understand that if someone else needs to get hold of them or if someone wants to check their tail or if someone wants to check their feet, you know, they're just happy to have it done. The more you do it, the more they get used to it. Remember, you get out what you put in. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, which no doubt you will from this video, please feel free to uh, contact us and, uh, and we can answer them. Thanks for watching.